Today, in Trove News, we're going to have a look at the announcement of the formation of the North Sea Transition Authority. Some time ago, the Oil and Gas Technology Centre was renamed the Net Zero Technology Centre. Oil and Gas UK was renamed Offshore Energy UK. And today, the Oil and Gas Authority becomes the North Sea Transition Authority. Now, there have been changes in the past, and it does seem rather bizarre at times. Back in 2005, there was a renaming of a department, and within a week, it was changed back. When we look at the geographic responsibility for the North Sea Transition Authority, it does, of course, cover the UK North Sea. But not only that, it also covers the unloved onshore UK, west of Shetlands, the Irish Sea, and Wales and the southwest approaches. So there's a lot more to it than just the North Sea. By contrast, the Coal Authority looks after all the legacy issues of coal mining, including substance and mine water pollution. Its goal is to make a better future for people and the environment in mining areas. And indeed, the oil and gas industry will have a lot of legacy issues for the decades and centuries to come. If we look here from Trove at the extent of the oil and gas fields across northwest Europe, we can see that they stretch from the Faroe Islands down through the west coast of Ireland into the Celtic Sea, onshore UK, Irish Sea, all the way up through the North Sea in the UK sector across to Norway, to Denmark, Germany, Netherlands. In total, there are over a thousand fields, over 700 discoveries and over 2,800 prospects and leads across this area. If we just look at the UK in isolation, here is the extent of the oil and gas fields and discoveries. In this slide, we show the location of all the prospects and leads throughout the UK and UKCS. Now, here are some headlines from Energy Voice. The Treasury is trying to encourage banks to fund North Sea oil and gas, and the regulator has confirmed plans for a new licensing round. If we look at the statistics, and here's some data again taken from our Trove databases, there are already 2,450 prospects and indeed 481 discoveries that have not yet been developed. And we have lots of information captured on all of these. So, in summary, the fields are largely mature and in decline throughout the UKCS. And this will be the subject of our next video, which will be coming out very shortly. Many will cease production within the next 10 years. There are already 481 discoveries that wells have been drilled and proven that there's oil or gas in the subsurface. None of these have moved forward to sanction. So we think there is an opportunity to high grade and incentivize these developments using the principles of maximizing economic recovery. There are 2,450 undrilled prospects and leads throughout the UKCS. These need to be high graded and some ways needs to be found to incentivize exploration. Compare and contrast the Norway and UK exploration and appraisal drilling activity a subject that I believe Expro News will be picking up in the next few days. A licensing round has been confirmed, which will aid snuggle exploration and extend life in and around existing fields to try and enhance late life production and keep facilities economic, but will likely add to the huge number of prospects awaiting drilling funding. We need to find a way to incentivize hub development, which may attract financial institutions. Throughout the UK CS, low hanging fruit has been picked. What is needed now is creative thinking and some incentivization, political and regulatory support for the oil and gas industry. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, and you'll be advised when our next videos are coming out. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you back on our channel soon.